This is the Lofter 1.6 liter capacity air fryer. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get a recipe book, an instruction manual, and of course the unit itself. Now let's take a look at the recipe book for a minute just to get you hungry. Starts off with some appetizers, cheddar bacon croquettes, crispy fried spring rolls, you can see it's all in color, croquettes, feta triangles, Korean barbecue satay, jerk chicken wings, Moroccan meatballs with mint yogurt, pigs in a blanket, stuffed garlic mushrooms, and we're just getting to the entrees. So there's plenty of recipes in here for you to test this thing out. What's really, really great about this unit is if you'll notice these are manual controls, complete with a manual wind-up timer that even dings when it's done. And what's great about that is a lot of these fancy-dancy ones they have now have these digital panels. They have 64 different buttons depending on what you're cooking, and it takes more time to figure out which button to press to cook your stuff. But it doesn't make a difference anyway because they're basing the recipe off of a certain amount and if you put more or less in there whatever the button you press isn't going to make any difference so you just control your own temperature up here and your own time here and it works just like an oven which is exactly the point over here is the basket as you can see there is a tray in there that comes out you grasp the uh, thing there rubberized tips on it so it fits in there nicely and that's what you wash out when you're done uh, you know in addition to this so you put that back in there all the way down to the bottom and then you would load your food in there and stick that in and then you have to push it until it clicks so over here I have some french fries that are like waffle cut style I put some uh, extra virgin olive oil on there just sort of drizzled it on there and we're going to stick it in the machine okay we're all set to go so we'll stick that in just like that till it clicks the recipe or rather the back of the uh, package for these says 400 degrees for 10 minutes then flip them and cook an additional 7 to 10 so we're going to go up to 400 degrees and we're going to set this for 10 minutes so we just go there. There's a heating light right here, and that lets you know that the heating element is on, and it's uh, you know actively heating the stuff in there. The green light just means that power is on. You can obviously hear the fan; it's not very noisy at all, and the timer is just clicking away, doing its thing. Eventually, when it gets up to temperature inside, the red light will go out. That doesn't mean your food's done. The timer will ding when that happens. Uh, that just means, again, that the thermostat has been satisfied and everything is up to temperature in there. So we're just going to leave this, let it cook, and when 10 minutes are up, we'll come back, shake it around a bit, and uh, cook for the remaining time. Okay, it just dinged off. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Already, that's looking good. So... I'm going to just shake these here, hopefully without, you know, getting everything all over the place. So this looks like it cooked pretty quick, actually. There we go, that looks pretty good. We'll toss this little guy back in there. And uh, we'll hit it for, oh, maybe another five minutes we'll try. Because you don't want it overdone, you know. So we'll stick that back in. And we're going to go ahead and set the timer for another five. Right about there. You'll notice the light there is actually off because it is up to temperature, even with having it open that long. Uh, I'm sure it'll kick back on, but in five minutes this should be done. We'll take a look. Okay, that five minutes is up. That looks like it worked pretty darn well. I definitely like that. So let me plate that up, and we'll go from there. 
Okay, so there's the finished product. Now, obviously, you'd serve these with ketchup, or if you wanted to get a little chefy at home, you can serve it with some uh, chili sauce right there. And there you are. I've never cooked in an air fryer before, and for the first time, it looks like it did pretty good. As far as the fries go, good. Pretty good. Crispy on the outside, but it's still got potato-y goodness on the inside. And it looks like it's a win. Well, those fries were absolutely delicious. Came out excellent. Just the right amount of crunch and just the right amount of potato goodness in there. And it, it was just great. And it was done sooner than I ever imagined. Certainly much quicker than a regular oven. And there's not much to cleaning up. Just, you know, that's it. You just got to wash this and you're done. Not much at all. So all around, really nice little air fryer. Uh, again, this is 1.6 quart, so it's not really that that big for a family. But if you're just like two people, certainly plenty, plenty enough space in there for that. So looks like a great, great deal. Love the fact that the controls are manual. There's no digital controls. And like I was saying before, by the time you figure out what button to press... Your stuff could have been cooked already. Not to mention, when you deal with all the heat that... And you can touch this because it's not hot on the outside. It's just warm. When you deal with all of the heat, which is going to build up inside, and there are circuit boards involved, that's a recipe for disaster. This won't have that problem because it's a mechanical timer and a mechanical thermostat. So all around, a great... 1,000 watt, 1 1.6 quart capacity air fryer from Lofter. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.